outnumbered by kids. Watch as an off-duty cop struggles to control this rowdy roller rink crowd. He appears to hold one teen down on the ground. Glendale police say a fight possibly involving 200 teens started just before 10 p.m. Saturday. At some point, officers used pepper spray after calling for backup. The chaos spilled outside to the parking lot where police used a taser. I feel that's not appropriate action with kids. You just heard from one dad whose kids were there. He rushed to pick them up and is critical of how police handled the situation. My kids were pretty scared. There should have been some other type of measures. But other parents called it the right move. Sometimes when you have big events with teenagers, things are going to happen. Today, Great Skate was open for business and posted its response on their Facebook page, promising to ban the group of teens who started the trouble. But that's not enough for mom Amanda Blackwell. I'm really shocked. It's crazy. I'm definitely not allowing my daughter to go there at nighttime anymore at all. She's glad Great Skate won't allow any more overnight skating events. The weekend drama almost stopped some parents from coming today. Rebecca Hanrath feels safe but still hopes Great Skate reevaluates its security policies. I had thought, well, I'm not too concerned today, but definitely did cross my mind. During the day, and you know, I, I figure that it's just less kids and we're on spring break and I'll be here to supervise. Some parents tell us they think part of the problem is unchaperoned kids. Glendale police officers were wearing body camera video, but we're told that's not quite available just yet. Also, some involved may face charges, so we'll keep you posted on exactly what happens. Reporting live in Glendale, Maria Hechenova for Arizona's Family.